The day after the victory at San Jacinto, Texian scouting parties patrolled the surrounding prairie, rounding up remaining Mexican soldiers. The biggest prize was General Santa Ana, who had escaped during the thick of the battle. That afternoon, a scouting party led by Sergeant James Sylvester spotted a Mexican soldier in the grass near Sims Bayou, not far from the ruins of Vince's Bridge. Look, over there! Manos arriba! No te mueves! Manos arriba! No te mueves! Sí. Manos arriba! No te mueves! No te... Arriba! Levanta los manos! Let's take him back to him. No te mueves con los manos juntos. One more, we won't have to feed. Vámonos. They didn't realize it, but they had captured the Mexican general. The Texian soldiers wanted to kill General Santa Ana on the spot, but General Houston recognized the political leverage he now had. Bring him here! Houston now had the power to end the war at San Jacinto. Seated under a live oak tree on the banks of Buffalo Bayou, the two generals hashed out a ceasefire. Yo soy Antonio López de Santana. Presidente de México y Comandante y Jefe de Ejército de Operaciones aquí en Texas. Me pongo a disposición del valiente, valiente General Houston y conquistado al Napoleón del Oeste. He says he is General Antonio López de Santa Ana, President of México and General of the Army of Operations against Texas. He places himself at your disposition, General Houston. <clears throat> he says you are born to no common destiny to have conquered the Napoleon of the West. I will spare your life, but the war ends here. You are the right to all your generals and order them to evacuate Tejas, or we will drive them out. General Santa Ana wrote to his remaining generals, ordering them to fall back, and the Mexican army retreated south across the Rio Grande. The ceasefire was made official when President David G. Burnett and Santa Ana signed the Treaties of Alaska on May 14, but the war was effectively ended here at San Jacinto, the birthplace of Texas.